What's up guys, today I'm going to show you the campaign unlocks for Advanced Warfare and the best way I found to unlock them. Alright, to start you guys off with, I'm going to be showing you guys the armor and what they look like and in-game, what, how nice they look and whatnot. Basically, they look the same thing as the Atlas Infantry Armor, I think that's what it's called. But, um, they're just different textures and the secondary color of white, that, that's all it adds on. Um, the only difference is the helmet and maybe the, um, exosuits but not big difference but still they are look they look pretty sick and that's kind of something i like about this armor all right so in game now um the two helmets look amazing look at that they have red eyes you don't even see that as much in the um, the lobby but when you go in game you see the eyes like it, it is intimidating kind of not really but still it, it's kind of cool to have and that's why I love this helmet so much. So does the blue one. The blue one is amazing too. It, it comes with blue eyes instead of red. So it kind of complements the armor in a way. Because, you know, it's different. To unlock the blue eyes helmet, you have to beat the game on veteran. The red eyes and the other pieces of armor, you have to unlock it by doing the exo upgrades in the campaign. There's no other way. Um, that, that's pretty much all you get out of the campaign. To upgrade your exo abilities and stuff, your exo suit, you have to get these things called exo points. To get these exo upgrade points, you have to do the campaign challenges, which can be found by pressing start on the campaign mission or whatever you are on, doesn't matter. It'll all be the same. And the challenges will be kills, grenade kills, and headshots. I don't think Intel really has anything to do with it, but I did it anyways. Um, I don't think it gave you me any points, I don't remember. But from what I can recall though, if you die, or like you leave, you leave the campaign while you're doing your challenges. Um, the challenges won't count unless you finish the mission. You have to finish the mission, otherwise, the challenges won't count. All right, the most important part of this video is how to farm these challenges. To farm these challenges, the best way I found was to go to the eleventh mission, which is called Collapse. I played that on recruit, and the mission only takes like ten to fifteen minutes. That's why I chose it because. You get fast, easy kills, and it's pretty fast. Alright, the first thing you want to do is get past the driving portion of the mission. Once you finish the driving portion, you're gonna spawn with a grenade launcher. That will go towards your grenade kills. And you wanna st stick to the left hand side because that's where um you have the most cover. I tried the right hand side, I died most of the time, I don't know how. But still. Um if you're gonna go for grenade kills, the grenade launcher counts as grenade kills, so that's that's really helpful. Try to save all your ammo and use it only when there's three people in a row. And for the headshots and the kills, which will come naturally, like, you shouldn't really have to try for those. finally run out of ammo, um, you just continue to the end of the bridge and you're done. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do for the rest of the mission. Um, 
you just watch a cutscene and you just wait until the very end. You cannot leave in the middle of the cutscene, otherwise it still won't count. You gotta finish until you reach the menu where it says you done something with your I don't know, challenges. <clears throat> And pretty much you're done after that. Now, all you have to do is keep playing the mission over and over until you finish all your challenges. That's pretty much it, and once you've finished all your challenges, you'll be able to upgrade your exosuit all the way. I hope this helped you in any way, and if it did, please share. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.